Netflix is doing a big open casting call for Squid Game The Challenge. I know that there's a lot of non-actors that are going to be submitting to this huge open call that literally you can be anywhere and you can submit from. So as an actor, I know what casting directors are looking for as far as the photos and the videos. I know how frustrating it can be the first time that you're filming a self-tape audition and sending it in especially not knowing like the photos like what are they talking about a headshot and am I supposed to go get a professional headshot what kind of video am I supposed to film it's mostly about your personality but you also want to present yourself well so that you can keep going in the different rounds because sometimes it's going to be how much you showed your personality just a little bit more than somebody else and you're going to be able to show yourself better if they can actually see you and hear you well. The first thing that you always, always want to do with open casting calls is to make sure that they actually are who they say they are and that this is a good thing to be submitting to. Never give them really personal information at the beginning. Later, if you get selected, you will have to give them information for payment. Netflix has netflixreality.com where you can submit to be in a bunch of different things like nail did and the circle i went to that website and i did not see squid game the challenge on there at all hmm that's a little suspicious i went to netflix's youtube channel and i did see that they have the video there i went to their twitter and saw that they also have the announcement there and then i went back to the netflixreality.com and refreshed it a couple of times and then Squid Game, the challenge did pop up to go to a different website. What they probably did is that they created a whole website just for Squid Game, the challenge so that this website wouldn't crash. Is this legit? As far as I can see, yes. To submit to the casting call, you would go to squidgamecasting.com and you can submit from anywhere in the world. There's different links that you can click on depending on what country you're from. And on the website, it does say that they're going to be casting 456 people. And it says the stakes are high, but in this game, the worst fate is going to be going home empty handed. Let's click on US casting and then we can go through all of that. So Squid Game, the challenge, US application. They're asking that you be at least 21 years old and they are also asking if you have um, legally the right to be living in the US. As far as the filming, it does give us a little bit of information here. It must be able to take part in the program for up to four weeks and they're currently estimating it to be early 2023, but that of course can change depending on so many things. And then you have to have a valid passport for the whole period of filming if selected and have the right to be able to travel to all locations as we specify. Definitely have that ready because you will not be able to travel and you can't be a current employee or family member of of Netflix it looks like are all three media group. The next section is asking you some very basic information. Read all of this and then come back and fill it out once you're ready to upload everything. So here's your actual audition. Upload a one minute video telling us about yourself, why you want to be in Squid Game, the challenge, what your game plan would be and what you would do with a huge cash prize if you won. Trust me, when you start talking about yourself and what you would do with these things, you're definitely going to end up up doing more than one minute so if you're thinking oh let me film a long video and I'm gonna give them more information so that's gonna give me a better chance no this is just step one they're likely going to choose a bunch of people to do another video so a second audition and they're likely going to ask people to do a third audition or a third meeting via a video call of some sort it's going to be a few auditions before you actually get cast so you're not going to get cast purely on this one minute video most likely my experience i don't work for netflix i don't know exactly how they're doing this but most castings do it like that a lot of people decide the people that are getting selected and so they want to see different versions and they want to see a few different videos and they want to do like a video call or an in-person meeting to be able to decide to see if they trust them, if they're fun enough to be on the show, if they're dramatic enough to be on the show. For this video, I highly suggest to be yourself and in the part where you tell them about yourself, don't just say like, oh, I'm a teacher and I live in Virginia. Give them a little th something that you are excited about because they're going to be more interested if you're talking about something that you are excited about and that's going to bring them in don't put yourself down as far as like oh i'm not interested in enough i'm not good enough to like 
be on the show or I'm not pretty enough to be on the show like just if you want to be in Squid Game the challenge just make a video and be yourself and have fun and if they choose you they choose you if not who cares there's gonna be so many people that are gonna be rejected because I mean only 456 people are gonna end up on the actual show who knows what they're actually looking for do your best be yourself and have fun with the video because if you don't have fun with the video they're definitely going to be able to to tell casting does the this so much that a lot of the time they will watch something and immediately be like I've seen enough or I want to see more from this person and it does say try to make it no longer than a minute so if you go up by a few seconds it's going to be okay and here are tips that they're giving you basically the information that I'm giving you in this video except I'm gonna give you some examples so put your phone and device in landscape mode which is like it's at right now like TikTok and um, Instagram reels like straight up and down so you want to make sure that your phone is horizontal as far as your framing it should be basically this you can be centered to the camera eye level your camera you don't want to be too high or too low because it'll just make weird angles and then if you can have a blank backdrop and natural lighting if you have like a windowsill you can put your phone on the windowsill prop it up maybe use some books to make it higher if you need it it's okay if you're sitting or standing and if you have a tripod of course that's the best because it's going to be the least frustrating you're gonna be able to set everything up if you are interested in purchasing some filming gear maybe you want to audition again in the future for other things or if you want to make videos on YouTube right now casting workbook has a self tape audition kit which is basically like a filming kit for $72 that includes tripods lights um, backdrops and I'll put a link in the description in case you're interested in that please do not use a filter on your video definitely do not because because they want to be able to see you what you actually look like and once you go to upload it you can either upload the file or you can um, submit a URL you upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or anything like that you can usually have an unlisted link and be able to send it to them so only people with that link will be able to see it if you have never edited anything in the past or don't have any editing software already on your computer or your phone I highly suggest Adobe Rush you can get it on iPhone or Android and it's very very user-friendly and it has has all of the basic things that you're gonna need please upload at least two recent photos of yourself no hats or sunglasses as far as your headshot you do not need a professional person to do this natural lighting if you just walk outside go to indirect sunlight you'll be able to get a good photo and your headshot should be around this and then your full body shot should of course show your entire body and look like this it does have space for three more photos highly suggest to put the other photos if you have any fun candid photos that don't have filters this would be a good place to put them maybe something that shows your personality make sure that your hair is like the same length as your photos or the same color I do have a bunch of other videos if you feel like you're not quite ready to do this I do have a video on what to tell casting when they ask you tell me a little bit about yourself because that happens to us all of the time and then I have a playlist also right here of self tape auditions so as far as the actual filming what I use and all of that how I frame things at the end of the video I also feature another channel this is today's feature